Hello and welcome to Vector Thoughts Plus. I'm Martin Perhiniak, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Track Changes feature in InDesign. This feature is great whenever you have to cooperate working on a document. Let's just say you are the designer and you work closely together on the same InDesign document with the reviewer. In these cases, you should use the Track Changes feature to make sure you can keep track of all the changes done by different users. First of all, to use this feature, you will have to set up a user for yourself. And you will have to ask all your colleagues to also use the same feature, which you can find under the File menu. So it's File, User, and you can choose yourself a uh, color as well. I'm going to call myself the designer and I'm going to use a different color, let's just say lavender. I'm going to click on OK. So this is done. Then we can go closer to the text where we would like to make changes to. And let's just say me as uh, the designer, I'm going to add the change here. I am going to add more text. So first of all, I have the frame selected where I want to make changes. And if I double click on it, I have an option available to enable the track changes in current story. By the way, if you don't see the track changes panel, that's because you have to go to the window menu and choose editorial track changes. So once you have this panel, you can use this option to enable the track changes in the current story or from the drop down, you can also enable tracking in all stories of your whole document. So if you know that you want to do that, you can easily just turn that on. And that means whichever text frame you select, this feature will be automatically enabled. So let's just say I want to type in here the desert of Teide, which is uh, the volcano mountain in uh, Tenerife. And I intentionally made a typo here, a lowercase uh, T for Teide, which should be uppercase, of course but this will be something that the reviewer will do. So I added this change as a designer and maybe I also get rid of some words here. I select these two words and I delete them. Now, how can we see these changes? Because at the moment, I don't really know what happened here, uh, but using the track changes feature, we can see these changes. The only way to see these changes is to go to the story editor view, which can be accessed by pressing Command or Control Y. So in this version of the same text, you can see we added uh, or removed this text, and we can also see the color I assigned to my user. If I select another text and go to story editor, we can also see that this text was added by the designer. Now, what happens if we set up a different user? So I go to File, User, and I type in Reviewer, and I choose a different color. Let's just choose Lime. I click on OK. So now we are the reviewer, so that user is selected. And I am going to, first of all, change this to capital T. And I'm going to maybe add more text, or maybe we can also remove but um, let's just change uh, one of these words. This is obviously just a, a placeholder text, a dummy text, it doesn't mean anything. And these texts you can always add from type, fill with placeholder text. So we just made a change here and uh, maybe we set this also to capital P and so on and so forth, maybe break the line here. So let's see once again this text in story editor. Now we have two different colored changes. Even the line break is visible here, uh, added by the reviewer, a capital P added by the reviewer, and there was a change here in the text. And also if I select this part of the text, there we can see. Now there was the of Teide added by the designer, and then a change made by the reviewer, changing the T to a capital T. So we can all keep track of these changes. And the great thing with this feature is that you can also keep track of the date of the change. So for example, if I select this part where the designer 
added of Teida, you can see that in the track changes panel, the username, and we can see also the change time and what happened. So it was an added text. Now, if we select this part where the reviewer changed uh, the T to capital T, we can see that, yes, it's done by the reviewer at that uh, time and it was a deleted text. We can use the track changes dialog box once we are ready for print and we would like to accept all these changes or maybe reject them. We can once again use the track changes dialog box. Um, this is something that maybe the editor will do or maybe the designer will come back and go through all the changes that the reviewer applied. So then whoever does this can use the track changes dialog box and choose to accept a change or reject a change or just simply go to next change. So for example here in this uh, paragraph we have a couple of changes. If I select this one here I can quickly jump between the changes in this story. So a fast way to go through all these changes and you can all also accept all the changes in the story or reject all the changes in the story with these icons here. You have most of these options available uh, from the panel options as well. And here you have additional options as well, like accept all changes by this user in the story on in the whole document. Or you can also do the same, the opposite, to reject all changes by this user in the story or in the whole document. And of course, you can also disable the tracking in all stories or just disable the tracking in this current story by turning it off with this little icon here. So you can just simply stop tracking the changes. Remember, you don't have to be afraid of having these signs in your text. It's only possible to see it in the story editor. So it's a completely non-printing element of your design. It will never show up in print. So even if you don't accept them, it will still be fine. You will have a visual clue of what happened to your text if you want to see it. But in your final uh, print, even if you don't accept it, it will come up as uh, as it is. But let's just see what happens if we accept it. I select this here and I click on accept and then it changes even in the story editor and we won't even have a clue anymore of that where was something changed in that uh, word. If I go to the next one, again, I can see it who edited it, when and what happened. And if I accept it, I can click on accept. And if I want to, I can go to accept all uh, changes so I can click on this and then if I want to I can click on OK and then all the changes will be accepted. So this is a very useful feature especially when you are working together in a team and you are editing the type uh, and you have to make sure that the final text is the best uh, possible. In those cases, make sure you have users set up and try to be consistent with them because if you get used to the same colors assigned to the same users, then it will be much easier visually to find all these changes and to go through them. So good luck with tracking your changes in your InDesign documents. Thanks a lot for your attention and see you next time here on Vector Tuts Plus.